Hi guys, so today I'm gonna be doing my Q&A video and this is such a late like upload since I posted the video asking you guys what are the questions that you want to ask me and that was a week ago so sorry if this is super late let me just get into the video because you asked me a lot of questions and I don't want this video to be super duper long so let's get into it yes I am making or I am earning through making YouTube videos because I am a style haul partner but for now I am still like reaching a certain amount of money so that I can get the money because that would be more um, efficient and I am 5 feet 6 inches tall I'm not really that fond of Starbucks and I don't know I'm not really a coffee lover I don't drink coffee that much so I don't have any Starbucks um, drink favorite but I do love some of their fraps and that's just what I drink in Starbucks so I can't really compress my my favorite fashion vloggers into a list of five so I'll, ju I'll just name some of my favorite youtubers I love Bethany Mora, Chris Salim, Eros186, Megan Rosette, uh, Beyond Beauty Star, Hello Katie XO that girl style is amazing um, well, Ate Ray is six. Uh, she is a Filipina YouTuber. She's probably one of the Filipina YouTubers that I only watch, like, religiously. And I also love watching my life as Ava. If I miss out on someone, I'll just link their channels down below because I have a lot of YouTubers that I love to watch. Meet and greet. I haven't really thought of that because I don't know how to facilitate one. And I am not dating. Because I'm not allowed to and no I don't have any boyfriend I was a straight A student when I was in elementary and high school not straight A but I was always in the honor roll but when I went into college my in my freshman year I just my grace was just blah. <laughs> because I was very frustrated at that time I was adjusting and it was a big change for me I didn't get into the Dean's list so I was very frustrated, but this sophomore year, I got up on my feet, started studying again, and I'm a dance lister for the first and second semester, right? I know it might confuse you, but it's just the system here in the Philippines. Yeah, I hope you understand what I'm saying. But yeah, and my, my parents are not tiger parents, but they do tell me pretty frequently to study hard and focus on my studies. Um, I did make like a video about this and I'm gonna link that down below so you might wanna check that out. Yes, I'm gonna be doing a night routine pretty soon when I get back to school. So about a month from now, maybe mid-July or third week of July, it will be up. So I don't really go out that much because I am very scared here in Manila and I just go out whenever my friend asks me to. And when we do go out, we go to places where there is a lot of food and maybe malls, we go bowling. I haven't really thought of this. This is a good idea. And I might do a giveaway with my clothes if it doesn't really fit me anymore. Comment down below or thumbs up this video if you want me to give away some of my clothes. So the first thrift store that I like to shop to is the one beside McDonald's here or near USD. Not inside USD. Other thrift store would be the ones beside 7-Eleven here in P Campa Street. I'm, I know that this might sound confusing if you don't live here in Sampaloc, but yeah. I also love Raverly, my newfound thrift store. Um, fourth would be the ones in my province because there's some good stuff in there. Those are the four places that I always go to. I think I don't really need a contest for this because I can schedule a day to go shopping with you guys. That would be so fun. So if you wanna make that happen, thumbs up this video. Thumbs up. Since a lot of you asked for like advices for college and high school, subscribe to my vlog channel because I will be uploading my advice video in there. I am 16. I am no, I'm not 16. Oh my gosh. You're so Anapo, you're not 16 anymore. I am 17 years old, turning 18 this July 29. Oh my gosh, I want to turn 18. I am from Isabella, Philippines. 
and I am studying in UST. Okay, there's a lot of questions in here. I'm going to be a third year BS Pharmacy student in the University of Santo Tomas. And yeah, there's a lot of questions in there, Sheena. Thank you for commenting. This is a good question, Ray Martizano. Um, I don't really like have specific things that I look for in a best friend. I just like someone who understands me and who like gets my humor and be her be herself or himself around me. I don't live in an apartment but I live in a condo with my brother. If you're asking if I am grade conscious, I was back in high school and I regretted it so much. I just don't want to be grade conscious anymore because it just makes learning not really fun. I just missed out on a lot of things in high school just because I am very grade conscious so I'm not planning to do that on my college years because I want to remember my college years as fun. When I got into UST and UP Los Baños, I was debating whether to go to UP Los Baños and just like transfer to UP Manila after or pursue pharmacy in UST. So I did think of transferring to UP Manila after I got into UP Los Banos, but I decided to go to UST and pursue BS Pharmacy and now I didn't really think of transferring schools because I like my school and I love like the people that I met so everything has a purpose I guess. This is gonna be telling you guys like a general piece. So first of all, I love dresses. I love shoes like flats I also love skirts I have a lot of skirts even though I don't wear them like that much plus I love Peter Pan colored tops or shirts and I also love basic loose um, shirts not sure if I'm going to give you tips for now because I myself am having trouble with some and I'm not really in the right place to get, give you guys tips for confidence but I might do one like if I find myself like <laughs> I saw one of her fashion shows in the internet and I just really love all her gowns it's Ellie Saab I don't know if, I if I'm pronouncing that right but I just love all of her gowns they're just very pretty and super girly I like being a Filipino because we're just very happy people, I guess. We're just very positive people. For a local, I love Tony Gonzaga. She dresses really nice, plus I love her personality. I love her hair also. And yeah, for international, I do adore Emma Stone. Also, I love how she dresses and her personality. Um, the songs that I listen to right now are still the same. I still listen to 1975. Um, I don't really do anything special. I just soak them with hot water for about 15 minutes or so and then I'll just wash them like a normal person would do. <laughs> if I have problems with my life outside YouTube, I can just make videos and talk to you guys and I just instantly feel a lot better and I just love making friends here on YouTube and I just like I know those are cliche things to say but it's true it is hard sometimes but it is very worth it when I read all your comments it made me feel more confident and just yeah just confident to talk to people to know people to just be myself around people and I guess that's a very good thing that I got from YouTube uh, for the last question, my friends and my classmates found out about my YouTube channel through my blog. They kind of teased me at first, but it all subsided um, eventually. So I guess it's not that scary to let your family and friends know that you have a YouTube channel. It might even be a good thing because you, you will try your best to upload good videos so that when your family and friends or blogmates see your YouTube channel, you will not be embarrassed of your YouTube channel because you are posting like good quality videos. So use it as a motivation guys. Like it depends on you. I think college is better for me. I don't know but still high school is a good four years of my life. So they're kind of
kind of equal. Top 5 life advice. So first of all, always, always, always be yourself. Like, be yourself, girl. Don't let anybody define you. <laughs> so second would be to always do your best in everything you do. Never ever settle for mediocrity. So you won't regret anything in your life. Third is take risks sometimes. Be different. Fourth would be to be satisfied with what you have because that's one of the things or one of the factors of being happy. If you're not satisfied with what you have, you will never ever be happy. And top five is to surround yourself with positive people like your family and friends. So those are my top five life advice. We got pretty serious there. Um, and my plans for the future. Um, I want to be a surgeon after taking my pre-med course like BS Pharmacy. I want to go to med school, be a surgeon, travel the world. Yeah, those are my future plans. Find the inspirations in blogs other people's lookbooks and people's I see in the street. Countries I want to visit, I want to go to Japan, I want to go to Paris, Italy, and yeah, those are probably United States. I want to go to the US. I haven't been into the US. So those are probably the countries that I want to go to. Okay, so I speak English instead of Tagalog because I want my channel to be universal or international. <laughs> International. The story behind my name is that my first channel is Viha Nako, which is now my vlog channel. And I I'm not really happy with the videos that I was posting there, so I deleted them all and made that my vlog channel. And I created this channel to be my main channel, and I just put the word thrifty to represent that my channel is for thrifty people, I guess. My real name is Hanako. <laughs> That's my name, the Thrifty Hanako. I'm Hanako. Okay. <laughs> that concludes my question and answer video. I'm so sorry if this is such a long video. I'll try to, to edit this out as short as possible. But I cannot promise you guys. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to do a question and answer video, maybe next month or the next month. And thumbs up this video because that way I'll know if you enjoy watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more. If you have some requests, as usual, put that in the comments below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Bye!